it's winter break around where I live and today I've got some fun winter DIYs for you to try. Don't forget to let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. My name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. For DIY number one, I'm using these paint sticks that I got from Lowe's. I'm cutting them down to eight pieces, a little over four inches each. I also have these square wooden dowels that I'll be using for the frame. And I'm using this sanding block that I got from Dollar Tree, or should I say Dollar 25 Tree. Anyways, I'm just smoothing the edges to prep them to paint. I'm using some black Waverly Craft paint and painting all the sides of the paint sticks black. I've got the square dowels cut down as well and I'm using Waverly Wax in the color Antique to stain them and yes there are multiple projects happening in my craft space today. I just really appreciate y'all clicking on my video today and I'd love it if you would subscribe and click the bell so that you, YouTube will notify you every time I share something new. Now here's where things get a tad wonky. I'll explain what I did and I'll tell you what I would do next time if I recreated the project. I didn't really account for the paint sticks, like how they would attach to the frame, so I ended up gluing the paint sticks to the frame directly and then attached the other two frame sticks to the ends of that frame. So in the reveal, you'll see what I mean, but you'll see that two ends of the frame are longer. Anyway, what I should have done was cut another two pieces of the paint stick long enough to attach to the frame and glue the shorter pieces to it and then it would have worked out better. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, anyways, I cut out a snowflake decal using my Cricut and added that to the front of each mini sign. All in all, I like how this turned out and I think this would be a great piece on a tear tray. In my head though, I was going for a square mini sign, but still, it turned out super cute. This video is part of a playlist and I so appreciate you joining me and my friend Sarah from GGB DIY every fourth Friday of the month for our fourth Friday open playlist challenge. We have a new theme every month and this month is winter and of course I'll have a link to Sarah's channel and a link to the playlist in the description box below. Now we are on to DIY number two and I'm painting this pizza pie pan from Dollar Tree with Rust-Oleum's chalked Ultramet paint in the color linen. I got this wood cutout sign that says let it snow from Dollar Tree and I'm just giving it a light coat of the same Rust-Oleum paint that I used on the pie pan. I didn't want the pie pan to be plain white. I wanted it a little, have a little bit of depth and dimension so I'm dry brushing on some territorial beige paint. For the let it snow part, I'm painting it with paradise blue. The paint is spelled C-E-R-A-M. C-O-A-T. And I always thought it was cream coat, but it's not. <laughs> and I don't know if you say Sarah coat or Kara coat. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, it's a really pretty color. And because I didn't want it to be just a flat look, I'm dry brushing on some white paint. If I thought about it, instead of like swiping the paint, I would have or possibly should have more like dabbed it on so that it would more look more like snow. I don't know. What do you think? I'd made a chunky blanket and I had some yarn left over for it from it. So I decided to go around the edge of the pie pan with that chunky yarn to add some fun embellishment. And now it's time to add the snow cutout to the sign, the let it snow cutout to the sign. And I'm just using some hot glue to secure that down. And this, I'm securing it down. Here we go. <laughs> this is how it turned out. In my mind, the pie pan was going to have more of a weathered wood look. And I'm not sure, but I think it turned out really, really cute. And I, it would look good on a wreath for sure. But, um, cause that's kind of what I was thinking to use it for. Anyway, turned out cute. As I said earlier, my craft area is messy. I'm prepping to do a cleanup organizing my craft space video and okay, hold on. Did y'all just see that? This is how the paint globs out instead of pouring. I don't know what's up with that, but it's Waverly black chalk paint, but the consistency is so gloopy. So anyways, as I was saying, my craft area is messy, but right now it is what it is. For DIY number three, I'm using this 4th of July sign from Dollar Tree and painting the back with the black Waverly paint. And I made this decal using my Cricut. It's the lyrics to Walking in a Winter Wonderland. 
and I'm just trying to see how it would all fit on the sign. And I figured out where the center was, or at least close enough, and I transferred the decal to the sign. This decal had a lot of small letters and not all transferred over successfully. I noticed a couple of places that I would need to fix later. To frame the sign, I'm just using some balsa wood. The great thing about balsa wood is that it is so easy to cut with scissors. Of course, not your good scissors, but um, I'm using white pink pen to go back in and correct some of the areas that needed some fixing. And I did have to do at least two coats and in some spots, three coats to match the vinyl. And you cannot use just any type of glue on balsa wood, but I have found that wood glue works fine. So I'm gluing down the new frame to the sign. And I'm breaking into the middle of this craft to share with y'all that Sarah from GGB DIY have a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. The link is in the description box below, so click to join and we'd love it if you'd share a photo of a project you're working on. Now, back to our crafts. I'm giving these wood shaped snowflakes, all from Dollar Tree, a coat of white paint as a base coat. I found some iridescent blue ribbon at Hobby Lobby for 50% off and I'm going to use that to hang these snowflakes. I strung them up to just kind of see how they would look and of course with Captain's help, I'm going to add some blue paint to the edges of the snowflakes to give them some dimension. Just working on the placement of the snowflakes and making three simple bows for embellishment. And I'm working on the placement of the snowflakes and I've just kind of staggered them and glued the ribbon to the sign. And then I added the simple bow to the top to finish it out. And this is how it turned out. This is my favorite piece from today. I love how it turned out. And I think this is going to look really awesome when I switch my decor from Christmas to winter. Thank y'all so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate you joining me. I have so much fun crafting and I hope you'll subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!